hi everybody welcome back to another video i hope you're doing really well so today it is time for a christmas decor tour um now i put my decorations up probably getting on for a week ago now um so quite early still in november um few reasons for that really um i needed to put them up for work because some of the work i was doing required um decorations and also as well because we're going to manchester this year um obviously we're going up before christmas so we won't get to really enjoy the decorations over the christmas period as such so i thought put them up early and enjoy them for longer so um i did do one of these last year um not long after i'd started my channel and you all seem to enjoy it so i thought i would do another one um there are still some things from last year obviously that i have um used again because they're things that i still love um the tree is from last year actually i've had the tree for quite a few years and i did think to myself actually this is the last year for this tree i do love this tree but i've had it for quite a while so this is the last year for this tree um but there are some new bits mixed in as well which i will show you i will tell you where i got each thing from i will try and tell you the price so if you do see something you like you can go out and see if it's still there so let's get on with the christmas decor tour so we'll start off as you come in the front door and to the left here obviously i've got the shelf what i normally have here but i have filled it with all christmas things so we have this garland which i bought new last year this was from b m and i'm sure they still have them now i added the lights so i just bought some of the i think they were two pounds fifty the lights um, and i just threaded them through so that lights up we have this wooden star this was from matalan um, that also lights up and then we have this pine cone holder um, pine cone candle holder that was from I thought that was from Primark um, so that's that little shelf there as you come in and I really love that nice and simple um, but very very festive um, so yeah the garland was from B&M and this I believe I think it was about £13 this star for Matalan right okay so we'll go down here um, as you can see just here, there is a miniature Christmas tree. Now this Christmas tree, I got this from Home Bargains. I think it was literally, it was something like six or eight pounds. And I've added some of these little um, stick decorations. They were from Primark. I've also got um, some of these ones on the main tree as well. And then I've got a little white Christmas tree standing on my books just there. So now we'll move into the living room where I've got most of the decorations. It's so, so sunny today. It's lovely. Right, okay, where should we start? If we start, I think, over at this corner here. Right, so we have this wooden star, which also lights up. This I got this last year from B&M. Now, this is new in this year, and they do still have these. Um, yeah. Very nice, simple snow globes. Got the little white houses and trees inside with the wooden base. I believe that was eight pounds. Um, then we have got the cookies with Santa, um, Bath and Body Works, which smells absolutely insane. <laughs> I lit it actually for the first time yesterday and it just fills the whole house. So that's that little um, side there um if we come over here i'll do the tree last so we go over here on this little shelf here just got a couple of the little christmas trees i had them last year um these were new this year i've got two i've got one in the kitchen actually and one here it's sandalwood and tonka these were from b&m these were about seven or eight pounds. So you've got the sticks in there and the eucalyptus, really, really festive. And then I've got a wax burner here. This was from Cherries, um, which you would have seen in my Cherries haul. So that's that little shelf there. Then if we come down here, I've kept things very simple. 
all I've got on here is just a little polar bear candle which I got from Primark and I think that was something like £1.50 I thought that was really cute so I've got that I didn't want to fill that table up because obviously this is where I'll put um, drinks and things like that when we're in here so I just wanted a little thing on there so over on this sofa I've just got the one Christmas cushion um, this is cute this the cover is um, new this was from um, H&M obviously I bought the cushion separate but the actual cover and I think that was only like 3 99 something like that and it just says happy holidays um, nice and sort of vintage looking and I liked the um, the colors in that nice and simple goes with the room so I just got the one cushion there which is super cute then if we come down here on the coffee table in the middle so we've got a big christmas tree candle which i absolutely love i got that from tesco that is that is new um then these i had last year these were from tiger these little um like ornamental trees but i thought they were still really nice i still really like them so i've put them there we've got a eucalyptus um re-diffuser which i had out um, before I put the decorations but these are so strong these are so good these are from Dunelms we've got this LED candle here that obviously I'll switch on at night it's a safe way to have a candle there um, obviously with Atticus so um, yeah that's the little coffee table part over here by this little file we've got um, a Santa this was last year from B&M but I got it out again I absolutely love the colours on this um, it's not like your normal reds, greens and all that if you can tell I've gone for like quite earthy colours and his outfit tones in with all of that and Atticus absolutely loves him so we've got him standing there. Then if we come to the telly stand, um, this was new this year, um, this is from B&M, um, love the colours of um, the Nutcracker as well and then these lights now these were last year from Tiger the pine cones um, but these look lovely um, lit at night by the telly um, really really pretty and then we come to the tree so at the bottom I did get this year a new tree skirt because the one I had was a very, um, it was a different type of wicker completely to what I have in this room. And this wicker, as you all know, obsessed with wicker, um, matches the rest of the wicker. Um, this was from Matalan and this was £20. Um, so the actual tree itself, I think I must have had this tree. Oh God, I'm going to say six or seven years. Um but this is going to be the last year for this tree, I feel. Um, next year, I might go for a real one, we'll see. So I'll show you some of the decorations anyway. Um, we've got a few on from last year, but mostly they are quite new. Um, I love these ones. Um, I've got quite a few of these on the tree. These were from B&M. They're filled with dried flowers, um, different flowers. There's another one another one there um, these paper ones I've got these all over the tree I absolutely love these again they were from um, B&M you can see I've got cream ones green ones these wooden stars which I've got all over the tree these were last year from B&M but I still absolutely love them so I've got quite a few of them on um, these are this year's B&M absolutely love them um, if we go up here you can see some of the sticks um, like the ones in the hallway um, so yeah it all it all matches really I've tried to keep in with like the natural rustic feel with like beiges and greens and um, another one of them I think these are probably my favorite ones this year and then this has got some this has got some pampas in it, this one. And then we've got at the top, we've got, I kept this from last year because it did go the best with it, a wicker star. And that was from, at the time, I believe, that was from, could it have been from Amazon, I believe? I think I got it from Amazon or eBay. Um, but yeah, really pleased with the tree. I don't know why, but it's just not looking as big to me this year. It's very strange. It looks like um, thinner. I don't know I I don't know but anyway <laughs> yeah really pleased with the colour of it and um, 
yeah so that is the tree as well have a little um christmas tree out there with lights on that was from tesco um i think that was only about eight pounds and it come with the lights and the batteries as well and i like the like the um the like basket that's in so yeah that lights up at night out there do a little overview of the living room like i said i've kept it very simple um but still cozy so um yeah that's the living room and now we will do the kitchen which again i've kept very simple um so we've got this shelf here this seems to be the focal point of whenever there's a seasonal thing to do i always do this shelf in here and that seems to be it but um so we've got another wax melt burner here also from cherries um but this is like the snowflake one we've got this christmas tree which i had last year i believe that might have been from b&m i think um we've got the woodwick candle which i've almost finished then i will get my bath and body works one out in here um we've got these three trees um again they were from b&m last year then we've got this little light up house which is recent from b&m that looks so cute at night and then we've got this jar um this was from primark and it's just literally glass jar with three trees in it but i think it looks really really effective um so that is the shelf there simple but festive then if i turn you around and go over here um on the table we have got a little green christmas tree candle which is last year's from primark another one of them sandalwood and tonka um reed diffusers from b&m i've switched the color of this candle up to a nice green one um obviously some beautiful flowers and that is the table and that is it for my decorations but i will show you i'll show you the advent calendars which will come out i believe it's thursday i think the first so this year i went for i went for the marks and spencers house of whips um i love walnut whips at christmas anyway and um, this has got a miniature whip different flavored whips in each door so yep yeah, yummy that's mine Atticus has got his classic dairy milk. He always likes this one every year. And then he went for this one. Um, we got this on a good price actually at Tesco. I believe it was knocked down from 50 to 40. I think it was 44 or something like that. Um, they were a lot more expensive in other places. And he couldn't decide whether he wanted this one, um, Pop Figures or the Star Wars one. But he went for Disney. Um, in the end so obviously in um, each day it's got a miniature pop figure which he collects anyway so he's really looking forward to that one so that was my christmas decor haul um i kept it very very simple this year i just wanted a theme um and just stuck to that and just a few bits here and there and uh really really pleased with it so I hope you enjoyed. I hope you managed to find a bit of inspiration if you haven't got your decorations up yet. Um, you know, and there's some great bits out there still. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you soon for another video.